Hi gamers, mums and dads, welcome to another fraction video. So the question I've been asked is how do you get from a fraction to a decimal? Um, now the right hand side here might give it away again. We've got to do a little bit of division, but that's what fractions are all about because this line does mean divide. This means one divided by eight. So how can we write an eighth as a decimal? Now I'm going to show you the little trick on how to do it, and this works for all fractions. You've just got to be a bit careful at the end that you don't just keep going round in circles. So the method is, we leave this bottom number on the left hand side. So again, it's like the top heavy fractions where you just knock the sum over. So we're just gonna knock the one that way. So we write one here. Now what we need to do is put a decimal point there and then a load of zeros. This could go on forever, but we'll just stop for there for now. And what we need to do now is just do a normal divide and we will get to the answer. So if you've got the decimal point here, you just need to put that to the top of the divide as well, just so that we've got to the method correct. So we've knocked the fraction over 8 dividing into 1, which is this, and we've got dot zero 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 zero, zero and we've put the dot there. Now, as we know, with most divides, the first one is pretty much a 0. So 8 into 1 doesn't go, so it goes 0 times and we've got one left over, so we move the one to there. So now we've got eight dividing into 10. So again, going down our long division chart, we go once is eight, uh, we can't go any further, so we put a one up here, and we've got two left over, eight, nine, 10. So we pop a little two there. So now we're looking at eight into 20. So we go down, we've got two is 16, but we can't go any further, so we put a two here. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So that's four left over, so we put a little four there. So now we're looking at eight into 40. We go down here, brilliant, bang on. Eight into 40 is five. Now we have no more remainder. So this is where we stop. We don't put any more because if we did, it'd be remainder naught, eight into naught is naught, eight into naught is naught, eight into naught is naught. And you don't put the zeros at the end of a decimal. So as soon as you get to the right, uh, no remainder, down here, then that's where you finish. So we've got an eight equals 0.125, which if you do one divided by eight into your calculator, it should come up with 0.125, and that is correct. So just quickly to re review the method again, if we had two fifths, let's say, I'm not gonna write out this because it's a five times table, which hopefully uh, you've all got off by heart. So again, we're knocking the two over, so we're doing five on the left hand side and on the right we've got this two there so this is the fraction and then for the method you put a full stop or a decimal point and lots of zeros and then you put the full stop here how many times does five go into two it doesn't no times but we've got two left over so we pop a two there five into twenty five ten fifteen twenty four times so we write it four and it's exactly four so we stop two-fifths equals 0.4. The only thing you need to watch out for is sometimes decimals go on forever. So if we did two-thirds, so again we knock the fraction over, we do three into two, put a decimal point there, lots of zeros, put the decimal point at the top there, important, so you don't get it in the wrong place. Three goes into two zero times, so we've got two left over. How many times does three go into 20? Well, six times three equals 18. Seven times three equals 21. So we go six times into 18, which gives us two left over, 18, 19, 20. So we put two here. Three into 20 goes six times, two left over. Three into 20 goes six times, two left over. Now you can carry on this as much as you like. <laughs> But you ain't going to stop. You're going to be here all day because it just goes on and on and on and on and on forever. So this is a recurring decimal. It can also be written as six with a dot on the end because it's just six recurring. But again, if you type two divided by three into your calculator, it will show you 0 0.66666. And when you get to the end of the screen, it might round the six up to a seven. But this is how we do it. Now, some more complicated fractions might not just be one. Uh, try 
Give this a go at home, one over seven, and see what you come up with. This again rotates, but it takes four or five digits before you go round and round in circles. I'll leave that one up to you. But how to convert a fraction into a decimal is quite simple. Knock the fraction over, and then just do long divide. Just remember to put the dot up there so you can see what the decimal is. If a top is smaller than the bottom, which is for most fractions, you'll always get naught point, something like that. Right, so we've gone from fraction to decimal, so how do we get from decimal to fraction? And it's one of our friends again, and it's simplify. So for the method, from decimal to fraction, you just want to do a bit of simplification. So we had our eighth before, but let's write it as we have as a decimal, and we want to turn this into a fraction. So what is the method? But what you want to do is you want to take the decimal point from the right hand side, so we go from here, one, two, five, and you write that on the top of your fraction. Now we need to work out what to write on the bottom, and that depends on how many digits we have. So if you write a one to start with, for every digit we need to put another zero. So we've got one, two, three digits, so we've got one, two, three zeros. So 0.125 can be written as a fraction as 125 over 1000. Now that is a good answer, why not? But you remember what we had before was a lot easier to write down. So what we need to do is to simplify. So what are we going to have a go at here? So let's have a look at this. We can see this ends in a 5 and this ends in a 0, so the 5 times table will be useful. So what we want to do is divide the top by 5 and the bottom by 5. So again, we've got our friend division if we just pop a line here. So let's do the top one divided by 5. Now 5 goes into 1 0 times, we move the 1 to there. 5 goes into 12 2 times, with 2 left over. So just do this on the long division if needs be. Uh, we're still dividing by 5. 5 into 25, perfect, it's exactly 5. 5 times 5 is 25. Now at the bottom we're doing 5's into this, so 5's into 1 doesn't go, move the 1 to there, 5 into 10 goes 2, and no remainder, 5 into 0 goes 0, no remainder, 5 into 0 goes 0. So 1000 divided by 5 is 200, exactly. excellent. Now again, we're not quite there, and you can also see a 5 and a 0 at the top, so let's give it another go. Divide 25 by 5, we get just 5 and divide 200 by 5, 5 into 2 doesn't go, 5 into 20 goes 4 times, remainder 0, 5 into 0 goes 0 times. So now we're at 5 40th, so we're getting closer, we really are, and again we've got a 5 and a 0, so let's go one more time, 5 divided by 5 is 1, looking familiar now, what's 5 into 40, well you all know 8 times 5 is 40, so we're back to our 8th. So 0.125 can be written as a fraction as 125 over 1000, 25 over 200, 5 over 40, or the most simplest form is our 1 8th. So back to the method, any fraction that you get, it could be 0.4 let's say, and again what you need to do is just put everything after the decimal place on the top, so 4, how many decimal places do we have? We put a 1 there, how many decimal places? We have one of them, so 4 tenths. So 0 0.4 is 4 tenths, even, even, so that's 2 fifths, divide by 2, divide by 2. So 0 0.4 is 2 fifths. So if you want to have a play, you can go from decimal to fraction and you can go back again. So you could just keep picking numbers and see how you get on. So that's decimals to fractions and fractions to decimals. I hope it's useful uh, and we'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.